Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 56. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Bolts and the Niners, and it comes your way next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, LA Chargers, taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. Brandon going alongside Charles Davis. As CD, you look at these LA Chargers champions of the AFC making just their second Super Bowl appearance, but they're trying to do something that the Bucs were able to do last year, which is win a Super Bowl in your home stadium. And how about that? Because the Buccaneers pulling it off, and the funny part about them, they've been on the road the entire playoffs, but got the Super Bowl in their home stadium. Now here are the Chargers trying to make it two in a row, hoping this game will turn out a little bit better than their first Super Bowl appearance, a 23-point loss to San Francisco in Super Bowl 29. Meanwhile, the 49ers are back in the Super Bowl for the eighth time in franchise history, one of the more successful teams, no doubt, in the Super Bowl era. They look to claim their sixth title, Charles, which would tie them with the Patriots and Steelers for most ever. And they are so used to being successful. They expect it. And remember, they were in this game just two seasons ago. That was Super Bowl 54 down in Miami. Had a 10-point lead in the fourth quarter, but watched it slip away. They'd love nothing more than to erase those memories and add a sixth trophy to their case back in San Francisco. After all the hype, it's finally time for football as we're underway in Super Bowl 56. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. And he's been sensational all season long, but he saved his best work for the playoffs, leading his guys to the AFC Championship a couple of weeks ago. And now he knows what lies ahead. He's going to need to play a near-perfect four quarters of football to get his guys to the finish line. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler, and he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring up a third down. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Got to give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Herbert will give this one to Eckler, and he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one.
Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 down at the 31. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second and seven. On the give, this is Eckler. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, that rate picking up three yards of carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league in trying to get first downs unless you're playing four-down football. Then that's a whole different situation. But I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. Now it's Herbert. He's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Maurice Hurst coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. And that sack there, that likely brings out the field goal unit, so they might have to settle for three here on their opening drive. They did some nice things, getting things started there, moving the ball downfield, but taking that sack on third down, that lets the air out of the momentum balloon just a little bit. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. Hopkins' kick is good. And the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. Three points, probably not going to win this Super Bowl, but at least you get something on the opening drive. And it's certainly not going to lose it. So the bottom line is, come away with the points now. Come back and get greedy later and try and put it in the end zone. Following the made field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. And this fielded right at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. They'll be led out by the former number three overall pick back in 2021. It's Trey Lance. And he comes in off of a tremendous game in the NFC Championship round two weeks ago. This has been a team all season long that's really taken their identity from their quarterback. And he's been very vocal in days leading up to this game that he believes that this is their time. And he's going to do all he can to will them to a Super Bowl win. And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. Well, you're already down on the scoreboard, and now, Charles, you go out there, very first play, throw the interception. That defense, they're going to have to bow up. Yeah, and let's see how they handle this, because we always talk about reverting back to what you practice. Well, you practice these situations. It's called sudden change. You don't expect to be out there this fast, but you are. Do you go out there with poise, or do you go out there with panic? Panic could get you scored on again. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And his throw here is incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Out of the gun, Herbert. He's got Allen. 
He's got the first down inside the 10. Touchdown! With a first touchdown of the Super Bowl and a long one at that. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, and that's a run born out of ferociousness. He took on that initial contact and in his mind just screamed, out of my way, and kept right on going and wound up turning it into a big play. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead grows to 10 0. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. Ray Ray McLeod to return. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Trey Lance of the 49ers set to go back on offense here. And he'll need to find a way to shrug off the opening drive, if you can even call it a drive. One play <laughs> and an interception, so he's got to forget that. I know that in today's football, we have a good number of coaches who don't look at time of possession the way that the, the old school guys did. But there's still a place for it. And I think that on this drive, after having thrown that interception, they're going to... Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Kenneth Murray. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is, will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Lance throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. But nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Lance. Jerry Tillery with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out of there. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. Here's Herbert. Flushed out right. And Herbert going to slide to a stop, and he has a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure.
Running on first down, Eckler. And some space here. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Nice play, man. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Going on the ground with Eckler. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. Coming up on second and seven. On second down, Eckler. Oh, able to avoid him. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. 44 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll try the air now with Herbert. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Here's second and ten. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. Stays on his feet. This carry brought to an end at the eighth. Good stick skills, but not much room to operate. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Herbert now. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. They were going for it on fourth and inches, now fourth and five. Yeah, everything had built to a crescendo, hadn't it? Fourth and inches, I mean, we were coming out of our chairs up here. Now on fourth and five, you've got to think about whether you want to go for it or not. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. 
The 49ers offense making its way back out there. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Second and eight coming up. Throwing now is Lance. They'll run the screen with Mitchell. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. And as a former defender, I can tell you with certainty, those are the ones that have you losing sleep at night. I would not like to be in that film room on Tuesday going over that one. Just a pretty poor effort defensively, and it leads to a big play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll try the left side. It's Mitchell, and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Second and 11 now. Now a handoff here to his running back. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Throwing his lance on third down. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They're going to run the sweep. It's Samuel. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Working with second and five now. And to give this time to the tailback. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try and run for the first with Sermon. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Okay, baby, let's go. Let's go. A reminder coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. 
Meanwhile, Lance is so complete here to Ayuk. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Lance now on first down. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Second and ten. Lance looking to throw it. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle from 21 yards away. And the 49ers are on the board here in this Super Bowl. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown interception ratio is what? Three to one for the best quarterbacks? But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Increases the confidence his teammates have in him as he tries to become their leader. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead will shrink to six. So that one a long 11-play drive. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. DeAndre Carter returning it. And he returns this to the 22. Austin Eckler and the Charger offense reclaims center stage. He's been effective so far over the 40-yard mark here in the second quarter. Don't forget about those guys up front, though. They've been effective, too. The leverage game has been in their favor. They've been the ones who've been able to bend their knees, drop their hips, and get a little bit lower than the guys <laughs> on the other side of the football. And they've moved them out of the way for the runner. Sometimes that's tough for those big fellas. Not an easy thing for them to do. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. No chance. No chance. Throwing again on second down, Herbert. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Back to throw here, Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 
Herbert back to the air. He's going to float this one deep right side. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. A big play there just before halftime. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. I'm really not sure what was more impressive about that throw. Was it the distance travel or the accuracy involved? Because I'm going to tell you straight up, when you're trying to hit a guy in stride that far downfield, there's nothing easy about it. But he sure made it look easy there. And the final readout on next-gen stats, remarkable. That ball traveling close to 80 yards in the air. Again, Herbert. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Second down and goal. Herbert. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chargers continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff, because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Hopkins with the extra point, and the lead now stands at 13. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. McLeod now on the return. We play to win. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's run through the next-gen stats for the Chargers in that first half. And it's been the passing game that's gotten them to where they are, two quarters away from a possible Super Bowl title. Meanwhile, for the Niners, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half as they know they'll need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. These two teams sat through a longer-than-usual 30-minute wait, but we're back in action here in the Super Bowl. McLeod now on the return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Keep playing hard. The 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. 
And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. Well, if there's ever a chance to regroup, it's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They played great all year long. That was the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. Kidd had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now Lance going to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. To throw, it's Lance. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, 59 yards. And the 49ers are back within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Gold with the extra point, and the lead will shrink to six. A drive there of just four plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. Come on. Getting set to go again here on offense, Keenan Allen marches back onto the field. And his two touchdowns, a big reason they're winning right now. So meaningful when you score and it's got your team out there in front. Changes the complexion of everything you're doing. It's one thing to score them all in garbage time, but, but these count. This is a big deal, and he's making those types of plays, and I think they'll keep finding ways to get it to him. I was just going to say, probably going to go back to him. A good run there to start the drive. 13 yards, first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here is Heckler. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Second down and seven. The handoff, it's Eckler. 
And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. The 71 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. the ground it's Eckler and he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down Brandon five yards on that run let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage and they did for a significant chunk of yardage after the pickup of five here's second and five Now Eckler, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field, a nickel set for third down. Herbert. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 32-yard line. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. But defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. From the 30 on second down, Herbert. That is caught. It's Williams. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Kyle Shanahan doesn't care much for that last call, so out comes the red challenge flag. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide, and I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things, but even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Let's go, boys, bring it up. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll run here with Eckler. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Second and five now. Herbert on the screen. This is Eckler. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. You give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. The key to any screen play is all in the deception. And that means everyone on the offensive side of the ball 
but someone gave it up because that one wasn't very well concealed. And the defense able to rally to him and hold him for just a short game. Now movement up front. I think they're going to get one of the Charger linemen. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. Here's Herbert. And he's got his big tight end here. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence. And that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Trey McKinney there to make the grab. And the Chargers will extend their third quarter lead here in the Super Bowl. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. He talked about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. They're going to try and run. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And they're able to ground it in there on the two-point try. And you and I were talking before the game that two-point conversions from the 15-16 season, what has changed, what hasn't changed, partner? Yeah, I'll tell you what's changed is just your, no your normal strategy because now you're either kicking the football with the ball on the 15-yard line or if you decide to go for two, they put it on the two-yard line. So what are you thinking as a coach? Do I risk it? Do I go for it here? Do I try and gain a strategic advantage and maybe go for two early? That's what people are wondering about. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And down he goes just shy of the 25. Now a penalty marker is down. Let's see what that's about. So the hold on special teams backs him up all the way inside the 15 to start. Now a handoff here to his running back. He showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. And they fake the handoff. Now Lance. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Sebastian Joseph Day forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. Now after the sack, Lance and the Niners staring up here at a third and long. It's 49er football, but some ground to cover. They find themselves behind as we hit the fourth and final quarter. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 41 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Hey, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, 
If they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. Whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. Mike McGlinchey, the Notre Dame man, guilty on that one. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Working from the gun, Lance. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. And Lance now to throw. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The Niners on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and seven. Here's Lance to throw it. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. A couple of first downs on the drive already, as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Again, it's Lance. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll come up now on second and a yard. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Throwing on first down is Lance. Being chased at left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Looking to throw again on second down. Lance connects with Kittle underneath. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Lance now on first down. Steps away to his left. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. And Lance will have the first down as he's able to slide to avoid the contact there at the end of the play. We've seen the pressure get to him several times in this game. There, though, we see him escape it. And we've seen this rookie video before as well. That type of pressure, oftentimes, what do you resort to? Your legs, try and escape. What you hope is that this doesn't become habit for him, that he learns how to handle the pressure, still keep his eyes downfield, and make some throws. 
Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he stopped immediately there. And there to make the tackle, Khalil Mack. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after that strong run we witnessed. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On third down, Mitchell. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. Have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four-down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that on their play sheet the entire time. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. And they'll go for it. Lance. And he's got it. Touchdown. George Kittle, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Niners have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Important piece of business to take care of the extra point. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28 21. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And the end result for the 49ers a touchdown. So just under two minutes to play, and this would figure to pretty much be your ball game right here. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. And now looking at the clock here, they do have two timeouts, but even if they force a three and out, they're going to have very little time remaining. So that means they've got to be aggressive and find a way to knock the ball free. They've got to come up with it because they can't just rely, as you noted, on using their timeouts and getting the ball back. They might not have any time to mount an attack, even if they do play it that way. Get the football. That's their mantra. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. It's Eckler again. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Give running left is Eckler. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. 
It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Looking for the end zone. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you've still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review of this being inside two minutes of play. Everything coming from up above. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point good by Hopkins, and the lead now up to 14. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. So Lance and the Niners down by two touchdowns. 54 seconds to go. They've come so far this year, but they need two quick scores late in this Super Bowl. On first and ten, here's Lance. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing now is Lance. Buying time to his left. This one caught by Kittle. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. That's a good chunk of yardage. It's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books. But now they have to make that up again, don't they? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Open man is IU complete. That he's brought down, and they took a big shot there. It pays off. A solid gain downfield. A big play that time through the air. 30 yards. One final try now for Lance. 
Dancing to his left. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. And the Bolts have done it. The Los Angeles Chargers are the Super Bowl champions. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. Thank <laughs> you. 